Hello and welcome to digi8.com. In this video, we are going to cover the topic on organizational communication. Now let's start with what is organizational communication? Organizational communication is a branch in communication studies that deals with the flow of knowledge and communication in firms by various media. This flow among employees, firms and individuals inside and outside the firm. Types of organizational communication entail informal and formal, directional, external and internal and return and verbal communication. Now let's look at each one of them briefly. As stated, let's start with the types of organizational communication. First, formal communication. Business communication can be grouped based on how formal it is. Formal communication is usually structured in a particular way. There is a standard, well-designed message. The firm makes sure the communication goes through proper routes and meets the need of the audience. On the other hand, we have informal communication. Informal communication is also called the grape wine. Information moves freely and spontaneously. This occurs when workers talk in small circles or individually. It also consists of brief engagements between workers and consumers or partners. Informal communication is faster. It is more spur of the moment. This can cause incorrect or misunderstood information. Next, internal and external communication. Let's look at internal communication. Internal communication occurs between employees of a firm. It might be in the whole firm or in small clusters of employees. These can be project teams or branches. Such communication, when formal, is written down and consists of performance assessment, sales reports, and company updates. On the other hand, external communication is meant for individuals outside the firm. These can be regulating authorities like the government, competitors, media, partners, prospects, or customers. Firms put a lot of effort into crafting a message for external audiences so that it is seen in a good way. Most external communication is structured and formal and communicated through particular routes, such as a company website or a proper press release. Moving on to verbal and written communication. Let's look at verbal. Verbal communication occurs between a couple of individuals in small groups or even in the whole firm like during a yearly meeting. Verbal communication appears to be informal. Nevertheless, it can be prepared and structured. On the other hand, written communication is vital for managing a firm. Even before beginning a business, many proprietors have to come up with complicated and long business plans. It is also needed for making financial papers and contract. Such communication is always formal and many a time needs expert in certain subjects. For instance, preparing of annual reports in the company requires chartered accountants and CFAs. And finally, directional communication. In this case, we have three types, upward, horizontal and downward. Let's look at upward directional communication. In this case, information moves from the frontline workers to managers. This type involves equipment or projects which workers are required to show their managers. Workers can offer critics and suggestions to seniors about their business affairs and performance. Next is horizontal directional communication. Communication can move horizontally through a firm. This occurs among workers, employees who occupy the same position in the hierarchy. This flow of information is usually spontaneous and fast, a lot like informal communication. Horizontal communication is usually oral and not written. And finally is downward directional communication. It goes from executives and managers to lower level employees as in a traditional structure. This consists of tasks or instructions that workers have to achieve. Downward communication is usually in written format. It can be policy guideline, memos and emails. It can also be oral that is through phone calls and meetings. And finally, let's look at the benefits of effective organizational communication. There are 12 key benefits. First, it cuts down on cost. Next, reduces industrial unrest. Third, employees turn up and work more. Fourth, office relationships are bettered. Fifth, workers are happier and it boosts their morale. Sixth, improves interaction between workers. Next, promotes creativity among them. There is more willingness to accept change among employees. Next, there is more loyalty and faith. Next, the quality of products and services go up because everything is structured. Next, improves productivity. And finally, company's goodwill increases in the eyes of the stakeholders. Now let's look at an example of organizational communication. In this case, Tesla and Elon Musk. In an internal Tesla memo, Elon Musk says the way most companies communicate is incredibly dumb. In an email from Musk to Tesla employees published by Inc's Justin Bariso, Musk inspires employees to buck the outdated chain of command prevalent in most companies in which messages always run through managers. As stated by Elon Musk, Anyone in Tesla can should email talk to anyone else according to what they think is the fastest way to solve a problem for the benefit of the whole company. He stated further, 
You can talk to your manager's manager without his permission. You can talk directly to a VP in another department. You can talk to me. You can talk to anyone without anyone else's permission. Well, that's the way people communicate at Tesla, as stated by Elon Musk. So that's it, folks. This brings an end to the topic on organizational communication. These are some of the sources and links referred to for the content in the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.